Hello everyone, welcome to my channel, it's Cherie. I'm going to be working in my junk journal doing day 5 through 7 of my December daily. So this is my journal. I'm doing it a little different than normal. Um, I'm working on my pages first and then I'm going to stitch them in when I'm done with them. So um, this is a journal that I made myself and I am really far behind on my December dailies. I had some family stuff come up and then my daughter dropped my phone in the toilet and I just got a new phone so I am trying to play some catch up really quick which is um, going to be difficult because the children are now out to school so we'll see how that goes. So I'm um, working on day five I believe and um, we went to dinner we went out with my in-laws and um i we got a new washer and dryer i've been trying to every day write down like on the fifth just little notes to myself so that i can remember when i actually go to do work in my journal what we did so this is just a photo of um, myself and my oldest daughter that uh, we snapped really quick on our way to dinner. And um, I'm just going, I just backed it with some printed vellum. And then I pulled out this gold tissue paper that I had in my stash and I wanted to, um, I wanted to back the photo as well with that tissue paper just to give it, you know, a little bit of texture and funness behind the photo. So I have that ledger paper and the whole time I'm working on it, I'm thinking I don't really want to cover it up because it's so pretty. I love ledger paper and it, that is ledger paper from like 1910, I think. And it's very, very sturdy, which is surprising. So I pulled out this Graphic 45 cut apart sheet and I do end up covering most of it up. But um, I liked these little stamped images on this sheet and I just, I just cut it so that it would um, have, you know, be the length of the page. And then I have these little like um, gift tags I bought last year at an Etsy shop and I believe it's called Past Pattern Palooza. I know I've been saying it wrong the last few videos that I've done but this is these little things are what I'm using to um, mark my days. So I just ink around them and stamp on the day. And I believe I did this last year part of the way through my journal and I really liked it. So I'm, use, I'm doing it again this year because I still had so many left over. Like I didn't have to print any more this year because I had so many left over from last year because you get a ton. You get, I don't even know how many sheets, but you just get a ton of them. So I just picked out one that I liked and I'm just <clears throat> trying to figure out exactly what I want to do. Like I know that I have journaling to do. So I was thinking, well... I could make our photo a pocket and then just do my little journaling about our dinner and the fact that we got a new washer and dryer because the, the washer broke right around Christmas, right? That's just what you need to happen. Let's have your washing machine break. But um, we just went ahead and got a new washer and dryer. So I, I've got this little envelope of scraps that I'm trying to use up. I'm always trying to use scraps. I have scraps galore. And this is just some old um, ledger paper that was a scrap. So I just backed it on the back of this tag. And I figured I would do my journaling on the front and the back of the tag. And I was debating. I kind of wanted to put an eyelid in it. But at the same time, I didn't really feel like there was a whole lot of space at the top of that tag for an eyelet. And I think I got that from a kit on Etsy and I think the shop is called Art Artology Artology something like that. If I remember, I will try and link 
the shop below. So I stitched all the way around the tag and then I wanted to stitch on our photo too, but I just stitched on one side just so there would be um, stitching on my photo and give it a little bit of color, red, and um, some texture on the photo as well. So I just put some washi tape down and then I went ahead and glued down my little day tag there. And I like how that looks. And I'm glad that I got a photo of myself and my oldest because we don't, we don't have a whole lot together and um, yeah, I'm, I'm just, I'm happy. You know how that goes. Usually I'm the one taking the pictures, so I'm hardly ever in the photos. Um, now this is just a stamp set. I've had it for ages and it's from Heidi Swap and it's a planner stamp set. And it has like, um, like the RD for, you know, third, ND for second, and TH for th. But I lost my TH. My TH is nowhere to be found. I'm hoping it will pop up. If it doesn't, then that's okay. But I really am hoping it'll pop up because I like the TH. So I just went ahead and put a little sticker on the back of that ledger or behind that tag. And now I'm going on to the next day or the next page. So this is an absolutely adorable, adorable image from um, a vintage book. I love that little girl. She's just so darn cute with her little puppy. And I was kind of thinking about making it a pocket, but I didn't because I didn't really have anything to put in the pocket. So I just glued it on the page because I like it. And then that's an envelope um, that I got in the mail from my mother-in-law for her Christmas card that she sent us. So I'm just putting the, I covered up the addresses obviously. I'm just putting the envelope in here so that when Christmas is over, I'll just tuck the Christmas card in the envelope. Isn't she so cute? She is just so darn cute. Let me know if you think she's cute. And then I am just putting some more washi tape on there to reinforce it. And then I'm going to go back. It's not on camera, but I'll just go back and write a little note about the card on that ledger paper. So now I believe I'm going to work on day six. Now the 6th of December was a wonderful, awesome day because um, our local, my local scrapbook store, um, they had like a scrapbook yard sale where the ladies in the area can come and sell like their unwanted um, crafting supplies and they do it like two or three times a year. So, and my mother-in-law and I, we always go together. And when I went, I found a bunch of paper, which I have a haul video on my channel if you want to check it out and see what I got. But I found a ton of paper at amazing prices, and most of it was Graphic 45. So I decided to go ahead and use um, a cut-apart sheet, or an image from one of the Graphic 45 papers that I got from that yard sale. And then I'm back in my little scrap envelope trying to pick out something that I can use to write on. And I had this, that little green scrap piece of paper that I had used for a project and it was embossed and it was just a piece that was left over. And then a piece of um, old tea dyed paper that was, I just, it just didn't end up using it. So I just put them together and I'm using my scraps and I like it. I wanted something on the top though. I was kind of thinking about doing like a tab or something, but I went with just this vintage um, novelty ribbon and just did like a little scrunched up, whatever the heck that, that's called, I can't remember. Just like a little scrunched up ribbon and I like it. But that piece there was obviously, you know, in the way, so I just tore it because the right side of the page is torn, so I figured it would be all right to tear the other side. And then I wanted to put another piece of the Graphic 45 that I got at the yard sale, which is that there. And I, I, I do have some Graphic 45, or already had some, but I bought, I got so much at that yard sale. It was crazy. So 
I wanted to use obviously the graphic 45 since that's what I did and what I bought. So I did my journaling and then I had cut out on the branding strip the name and I was looking for it. So I'm just going to go ahead and glue that down because that's what I was writing about. Those are my awesome finds. And then I just put a little staple in there to secure it down. And that is my day six. Now, um, for some reason, I deleted part of this video. So you'll see in a little while that a lot of stuff will be done, but I will explain it to you. And I'm sorry about that. I don't know how I did it. But I did. I deleted a chunk of it by accident. So day seven, I um, finally got my tree up and decorated. Got everything, got the house done, got the tree done. So day seven was a busy day. We were late getting our tree up this year because my husband had some health issues and had to go to the hospital and was in the hospital for a little while. And he wasn't allowed to lift anything heavy for a few days afterwards, so... We were a little behind, but that's okay. Thankfully, he's all right. So I just backed that uh, photo on that paper, and then I had this, I don't know what it was. It was like a metally stretchy something. And I just put it behind the um, photo to give it a little bit of texture. And it was gold, so it worked. And then um, I have these other three photos and they're just of the ornaments on the tree. And I kind of wanted to just journal about a few of the ornaments, just like, you know, little family tradition things. And then that is just a printable linen. And I believe that it is from Little Bendy on Etsy in one of her Christmas kits. And then the other little die cut there is from KB and Friends, if I'm not mistaken. And I just... I liked it because obviously it's a tree and um, I, I, I just thought it was cute. This page gets pretty busy. So I put a, a brad through that so that it would I'd be able to move it around and tucked it um, behind the tree. And then I'm looking for which one of these little gift tags that I'm going to use for my day seven. I didn't want to use the um, the Christmas tree just because I felt like it was too much trees. So I went with this lantern. And it was blue and I felt like it went with the blue and the little die cut above it. So I did my number seven. It's missing its TH though, but that's okay. Hopefully I'll find it. Fingers crossed. And then I just went ahead and tipped in this photo so that I could write my journaling underneath the photo on that linen there. I'm just putting my washi tape down to secure it. And it works. And then I'm getting some more washi because I like to put my numbers on washi just so they don't look like they're floating. And then I have these, okay, so see, here's where it gets cut out. I went ahead and tipped in my um, my other ornament pictures. The top one is of a hummingbird, and it reminds me of my mom. She's passed away, and she loved hummingbirds and would always put hummingbirds on her tree. So that is just an ornament that was my mom's, and so I'm going to journal about that. And then the back side of that photo is just a die cut image of a mom and a baby and then the bottom one um, is a photo of two ornaments that have been on my Christmas tree from the time I was a little girl like I remember them always being on our tree so they're very old and I just pulled out some little tiny alphabet stickers and I'm just titling those photos a little piece of home they do they remind me of home you know my childhood home 
And then the top photo, um, I'm just titling it A Remembrance of Mom. And um, I put a little sticker underneath there so that I could journal about the hummingbird. And then I put a little tag underneath the, um, the other photo. And there's that circle there is just to hold that photo down because for some reason it was wanting to pop up. So I just stapled that little circle thing there so that it would, so the photo would tuck underneath it. And that's the part that got cut out. I'm sorry. And there, I'm just going to do my little journaling. And that photo is of, I think it's five kids. And there's five kids in my family. So I felt like it went well because, you know, those ornaments were a part of our home growing up. And I grew up with five siblings or four siblings. So now I'm going to go ahead and do my journaling about the tree and getting everything all decorated and the fact that we did have a late start, but I'm just thankful that we were able to get a tree up. And then um, I pulled out some like little present stickers and these are dimensional. They're Jolie's and I just thought that little teddy bear was so darn cute. But I think it's tissue paper that's poking out and it was just a little too long so I just trimmed it down a little bit so that the photo would be able to go over top of it okay and then I pulled out some more of these are some creative memories or maybe Mrs. Grossman's um, they're vintage stickers and I like them a lot I like the fact that they are flat they're very very flat and I was just kind of tucking them behind that dimensional sticker there just so it kind of looks like there's presents under the tree which we don't have any presents under the tree right now because we have puppies two new puppies and I know that they would probably chew them to bits so no presents under the tree and then this last photo is of um, ornaments on the tree. My mother-in-law, every year she makes us ornaments and there are um, photos in the ornaments, like of things that had happened throughout the year. So I um, backed it on some scrapbook paper and decided I wanted to make it a tag. So I put a little eyelet in there and some ribbon. and this page gets kind of busy too i just kind of went a little busy this time but that's okay i like it and i feel like i'm using a lot of my stash so that's always a good thing right so i like how that looks but my ribbons are just a little bit too long so i'm just going to trim them and originally i thought i was going to put a label on there which I do, but I end up taking it off. Because I knew I wanted to put some ornament stickers on here, on the page somewhere, because the photos are of the ornaments and I'm journaling about the ornaments. So I had these here and they're pretty old. And I was trying to think what I wanted to do. And then I noticed that on the top of the sticker, it's got a little hole. So I thought, let me, Put some twine through there and kind of maybe make a little dangle of ornaments different types of ornaments so that's what i did and then the ones that did not have a hole i just glued them on the string and then i um i staple the string on the page So yeah, so it's a little busy, but I like it. I think it works. Um, so now I'm gonna do my journaling on the back of this card about our Christmas ornaments that I get from my mother-in-law every year. I'm sorry if you can hear my son in the background, he's playing his game right outside my door. I told him he needed to be quiet, but he forgets so I'm just doing my journaling and I think that pretty much wraps it up 
So I'm day seven and I'm hoping I can get caught up relatively quick. So we'll see. So I'm just gonna do a flip through here. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video and I hope that I will catch you in the next one. And I hope y'all have a blessed day and I'll talk at you later.